September is jam-packed with movies and shows we do not want to miss. So here to give us a preview is our good buddy and NBC Entertainment contributor, Chris Witherspoon, what? also the founder and CEO of Entertainment App viewers, pop viewers. <laughs> I love good that. Good morning. <laughs> I love sound effects. Good well, morning. Yeah, good working out, you guys. Oh, so, well, yeah. Oh, they, look, they've got that glow about yeah. it. Uh, uh, right. So from our... our, our uh, Sister company, Focus Features, yes. something people have been waiting for. My big, fat Greek wedding three. I'm so excited. You guys, pack your bags. We're heading to Greece. Okay. This time, not for a wedding, but for a big old family reunion. The family patriarch, you might recall Gus, he passed away, and his oh. last wish was for everyone to come together and go to his home village where he was born and kind of reconnect with their roots. Uh, it was Gus that carried that Windex bottle throughout oh, yeah. the oh, first yeah. one. Sure. He's hilarious, amazing. But all the fan faves are back again. You got Aunt Vula, Aunt Frida, and Joey Fatone, too. Uh, I think it's just such a great, phenomenal film, and it's great to know Nia Vardolos it was the one woman show she did. This got turned into a movie based on that. That's awesome. Rita Wilson, Tom Hanks, they saw it and loved it. That's awesome. All right, yes. speaking of another franchise, The Expendables. Yes. They're back, but with more people this time. Part four, yes. Adrenaline rush from beginning to end, you guys. I saw this one. I loved it. Sylvester Stallone is leading this crew. They are these mercenaries, the world's last line of defense against all the bad things that can happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Megan Fox, Jason Stratham, also 50 Cent is in this one. It's oh, the wow. first time he's in this franchise. And they're taking down, they're trying to track down this nuclear missile. Um, but it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal film. A lot of violence, rated yeah. R. So if last one was PG-13, this one's rated R. I think folks are going to love it, though. A great kind of alumni from this. Chuck Norris, John claude Van Damme, yep. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Everyone's been in this one. Bruce Willis? Yes, everyone. So, this next one's based on a pretty unbelievable true story, but it's, it's true nonetheless. Um, what's Dumb Money? Dumb Money is so good, you guys. It's based on the story of this guy. Roaring he created Kitty this character called Roaring Stop. Kitty back in 2020, during the height of the pandemic, Kitty. where he basically Kitty. took down yeah. um, these Kitty. folks that were trying to bet against GameStop. Yeah. He made GameStop the hottest <laughs> stock you could get. All these micro-investors backed him, got behind him. He flipped the script on these billion-dollar these billion dollar headphones who were betting against uh, GameStop. Invested $50 million, turned that into $46 million, sorry, 50000 Turn it into forty-six million dollars. That's it yes. great. So it was captivating for a while. And, and a great cast: Paul Dano, Seth Rogen, Pete Davidson, America uh, Ferreira. Everyone's in it. I love that. Okay, so Deborah, uh, my wife Deborah, read this book. Uh, uh, you know, the other black girl. Yes, loved it, and uh, now it's been turned into a series. Y'all, I binged all ten episodes two days ago. Oh, I'm really? so into this. Yes, executive produced by Rashida Jones. Centers around a young woman named Nella, and she's the only black woman at a publishing company until this other black girl comes along. Her name is Hazel, and they think that you think that they're going to kind of bond, but things get very sinister and very dark and kind of creepy. Um, this incredible cast, it checks all the boxes comedy, drama, mystery. I love this newcomer, Sinclair Daniel. Also, Ashley Murray. She was in the show Riverdale. She kills every single scene she's in. Garcia Bouvet, Bellamy Young from Scandal, Eric McCormick. It's a total 180 from Will and Grace. Uh, but I think folks will love this one. I, I'm ready for season two already. Yes. Hulu. Okay, Samuel L. Jackson and Uma Thurman. Oh. Is this the first time they've been together since Kill Bill 2? Yes, since Kill Bill 2. 19 wow. years ago, you guys, they were in Kill Bill 2. It's a dark comedy thriller, and it's this art gallery owner that's played by Uma Thurman who enters a money laundering scheme with the mob to save her business. I mean, a gal's got to do what a gal's got to do. Sure. Uh, but Uma Thurman's also not only reuniting with Samuel L. Jackson, but her first time starring alongside her real-life daughter, uh, Maya. Yes, it's phenomenal. I think a great sort of like mother-daughter story at work. That's Maya Hawk. She's 25 years old. She was in Stranger Things, things yeah. recently. Been to the show a few times, I think. Yes. Um, but it's a great kind of just like mix of New York City, high-end art world, and also the underworld of crime. That's great to see Uma and Samuel L. Jackson oh, yeah. again together. And Sam Jackson always brings the strong hair game. Yeah. Oh, no strong hair game. Always. He also he speaks around, Yiddish in this movie, y'all, at a certain point. Didn't know wow. he had that talent. Woo! <laughs> hey, Zeus. All right. <laughs> Chris, thank you so thank much. Thank you, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.